Today marks 30 years since the deadly standoff at the Branch Davidian compound near Waco came to an end. That standoff was between the religious group and federal agents, and it's been the subject of recent series on Netflix and Showtime. Today, a survivor from the Branch Davidian spoke at the Taylor Museum of Waco History. Our Nick Starling was listening in on today's news conference. Nick. Karen, the violent standoff lasted 51 days in 1993. Various U.S. federal government agencies were in a tragic standoff with the religious group Branch Davidians, led by cult leader David Koresh. The investigation, according to the ATF, centered around the illegal manufacture and possession of destructive devices, including bombs and grenades. The standoff ended when the FBI launched a tear gas attack in an attempt to force everyone out of the ranch before the area became engulfed in flames. This killed nearly 80 people, including 22 children. Nine people escaped. Today in Waco, a press conference pushed back on the ATF response on that day and reflected on who these people were. The Davidians were people. The people that died at Mount Carmel were people. They've never been truly humanized until they did, they did the, the Waco series. And it was the first time I'd ever seen the people inside there humanized. That's all we've ever wanted was to tell the stories of the people, and that's why these memorials are so special. So you get to see each individual, and you get to find out who they really were. And ever since then, there have been multiple investigations into exactly what happened and have sparked several TV series and movies on this tragic event. We'll send things back over to you, Karen. All right, Nick, thank you.